Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am your host and channel creator, Jeff Freeman. And I tell you what, I, I had so many really cool things going on this week uh, that I, and, and over the course of the next couple of weeks that I had to jump on here and tell you guys tonight. I really did. I mean, it's, it's exciting and it's raining. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard and you guys can still hear me over all of that. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm really excited about what we have coming up here uh, on the show. I, I like to talk a little bit about the Curse of Oak Island, of course, as you all well know. There's not a whole lot going on that we can talk about right now, but I will discuss a couple things with that. And then, of course, the secret of Skinwalker Ranch and becoming an insider at skinwalkerranch.com. It, it, it's been a really cool uh, experience, and I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, so I wanted to say hi to a couple of people logging in. Again, folks, I'm giving a little update tonight. We'll hang around for as long as you want to uh, and, and cut it up and talk a little bit about some of the stuff that's happening. Um, let's see. Hi, Curtis. Curtis is here and Linda. Hi, Linda. Thank you so much for, for being there. Linda is still recuperating, but, uh, <laughs> as always, there she is, uh, to help out all the time. No problem, uh, you know, for her, I guess, but thank you very much, Linda, for being here. Uh, Indy's antics, antics. Thank you for being here tonight. Hey, Sand Dollar Ray. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Jeff's in the house. Good to see you, Jeff. Glad you're here. The Awoken One, AO, how you doing? Folks, I tell you what, some of the cool things. I mean, Oak Island, you know, they're they're really keeping a lid on all what's going on on the island right now, are they not? I mean, literally keeping a lid on what's happening on Oak Island right now. You guys have seen uh, some of the pictures that we've had and stuff that uh, is going around on the internet in places. And uh, hi, Wanda, how you doing? Um, oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, yeah, a last minute thing here. I decided to jump on and I forgot to turn the Facebook uh, feed on. Sorry about that. So yeah, we're only on loot, uh, YouTube. We'll have to link it over. Um, my bad on that. But uh, so like, yeah, like I said, they're really keeping a lid on what's going on on Oak Island. Literally, I mean, you guys have seen some of the pictures just floating around on the internet of the uh, woman's memorial. There is a shaft there. There has been for many years. It is a searcher shaft that was placed and it was in the bottom of the woman's memorial right there on the edge of the money pit the shaft has been there for a long long time and the wood was sticking up it was flooded quite a bit of the time and they went in there after dumas showed up on the island uh then we seen some other trucks coming on some equipment compactor you know and all that kind of stuff going in they redid the entire bottom of the uh, women's memorial around where the shaft is and they they flattened it all out made it look real nice and they put a lid on it did they pour concrete i'm not sure i don't think they poured concrete around it kind of it's hard to tell but they put a lid on it it's got a lid a metal lid they they redid they reinforced i think they did actually build a concrete uh you know like a curb around there um and then they put a lid on it now the interesting thing about that not only did they put a lid on it but uh they also Okay, good. I'm glad. What a thanks. Um, and they they recently uh, they've got. Um, I'm just reading. Yeah, I, I know. Sorry about that, Ao. Hey, so uh, but they they also have a ventilation ducting hooked up to it. Now I rent these things. It's part of what I do. One of the pieces of equipment that we rent. So I know what these things do. They either they do one of two things. They're either putting fresh air into the shaft. Or they're sucking out bad air that's already in there and putting it, you know, blowing it out. Now, um, if they're doing that, if they're blowing air out of there, it has to have an intake someplace or the air's not going to move. You guys know when you, you, do, you do your house, if you open a window at one end of the house and the doors are open, you open a window at the other end of the house, hopefully you get that flow through the house. You can feel it. Same thing works. If you've got a, a, a blower or a, in this case, a a motor that's sucking air out of an area, there has to be an inlet so that the air can flow through. So interesting stuff going on. So are they putting fresh air in or are they sucking bad air out of there? Either way, why would they mess with it at all if there weren't work to be going on down there, right? If people weren't going to be down there having to breathe that air. But they're keeping a lid on it, literally, and we don't know exactly what's happening down there, but Dumas Mining Closing it off, either fresh air going in or bad air coming out, 
what do you think? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> So interesting things happen in there. And you know that the big crane is sitting up on top of the hill there behind uh, the money pit or behind the woman's memorial on the top of it in between there and 10X. Is it connected to 10X what they're doing? We will find out. We will find out. Also, the other news on Oak Island before we jump over to Skinwalker Ranch real quick is that we know about Lot 5 now, right? Lot five was Robert Young's property. He owned it for many, many years, bought it from Fred Nolan, I believe. Uh, and then he passed away and then the property went up for sale. It was purchased. I had a little video I put out about that. It was purchased and it was purchased by Circatrova, which who's Circatrova? Uh, who is that? It's the Laginas. Uh, they used to be Oak Island Tours, so OIT, and they changed the name because it was getting mixed up too much with the other tours that were going on the island. I think there was a whole thing going on. They, they kind of talked about it, but they did. They changed the name to Circa Trova. So it is the Laginas. So now we have what, three? I think there's three now people that own property on Oak Island. You got the Laginas that own almost all of it. And then you have the Blankenships, of course, and Tom Nolan. So, and they're working with the team. So, wow. I, and you know, Gary, Gary's over there. He's got to be, he's, probably got his little yeah, orange flags all over uh lot five now uh so that he can go in and start digging that up and that going to be exciting I i'm looking forward to it i really am uh let's see uh okay on youtube <laughs> all right hey you're you're brian uh michael o'brien you are never late uh it's you're all good so glad to have you here uh, again, I was just talking a little bit about Oak Island, some of the stuff. We are keeping an eye on it. We do get some information here and there, but honestly, some of that we're simply not allowed to talk about. So we'll tell you what we can, when we can, and we keep it respectful. The guys are working hard. Can't wait to see season 10 coming out. Really looking forward to that. Right around the first part of November, second, third, first, probably the first Tuesday of November. It's going to be great. We're going to have some of the guys on the island coming on the show again to kind of prep maddie blake and everything prepping us for the season it's going to be great we're having a lot of fun with that okay now before i get on to skinwalker ranch i wanted to talk a few minutes about some of the shows we've got coming up right here on this channel and uh one of them or actually a couple of them is going to be skinwalker related hi darlene how you doing good to see you thanks for coming by tonight appreciate you um we are uh the Skinwalker Ranch Insiders. I talked about this uh, well, last week. I had on the wonderful uh, Shannon uh, DeSalvo. Shannon was awesome. She came on the show. She is like, uh, you know, numero uno when it comes to the um, uh, the channel and the chat for the YouTube channel and the Facebook group. And she has done so much work. Oh, my gosh. If you haven't seen that show yet, please go check it out. It's right here on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's got the the logo there with the uh, Skinwalker Ranch, um, you know, alien thing in there on the front that we've kind of worked with a little bit. We do have permission to use that, by the way. Um, so Shannon was on and we had a great time. We talked about being an insider and I'm actually watching it right now. I mean, I've, I've got the, uh, you know, and I, they let me do this on the show the other night. I'm going to go ahead and share this. I can't, I can't help myself, folks. I'm constantly watching this. Now, right now, they only have one camera up. Now, generally, they have four. But right now, there's only one. Why is there only one? Well, I tell you, there's only one right now because they're filming. So, anyway, I'm going to leave that alone. We'll talk about that some more later. But Shannon was on. We had a wonderful time. And now I've talked her into it. Now that she's become, you know, this professional podcaster amongst all the other things she does. Um, I talked to her and I said, hey, how would you like to co-host with me? and do another show and let's have some more insiders on now there is another guy another person on uh that's out there he is also a uh a moderator or admin or uh mike i don't know mike owen's gonna be coming on so we got shannon's coming on again she's co-hosting with me and we're gonna have mike owens on mike owen on and another guest we've talked to her we've we've got her and I, I, i'm not sure before i can say who it is it's another insider uh, but before I can say uh, who it is, I have to be careful because she um, she goes by, she has a screen name, the buff artist, and, but I'm not sure if I can use her regular name. So we'll, we'll find out about that. But we're going to have four of us on talking about uh, the uh, Skinwalker Ranch 
uh, website and all the things that you can do out there from their sp- perspective as well as mine, uh, but mostly from theirs. Um, someone who people who've been there for a long time and some people who have not been there so long and give your imp- give their impressions of what they think of the whole thing. I think it's wonderful. I think it's one of the best uh, membership sites that I've ever been to that do things that you get to do. We just had a Q and a today with the guys. Uh, all of them were there. Well, Brandon wasn't there, but everybody else was there and it was awesome. We got to, we got to talk uh, you know, send them, you know, a question, Q and a, they answered questions. All of them were sitting there eating their chips and salsa. <laughs> it was a blast. It really was. So anyway, there's so much to do there. It's a lot of fun, but the link is below. And I also, I think Linda, thank you, Linda, Linda just put it up on the, on the chat right there too. Uh, it's in the uh, description below the link to it. You can do a trial membership and see if you like it. And if you do, you can be a member. It's, it's a lot of fun and we're building quite the community out there. But so you guys want to be here. That is on August 18th. That's a Thursday night, 730, August 18th. We got Mike going, Shannon DeSalvo and uh, the Buff Artist. We're going to, we're going to have a lot of fun right here talking it. I'm sure a lot of the insiders will be in the chat that night and kind of give you some of their impressions too, as they do on the chat that they're going right now. There's 67 people out there right now chatting it up having a great time so anyway we're going to be talking about that's thursday night august 18th uh for skinwalker ranch insider insights okay and uh, 17th the night before that i gotta tell you about this one gretchen cornwall gretchen cornwall you guys on the oak island side you know who she is wonderful lady beautiful redhead (laughs) Uh, i got to meet her in person she's coming back on the show she has got a lot of stuff going on right now in her life i don't know how she keeps up with it all but she's going to be talking about all of that with us uh that'll be on wednesday night august 17th at 7 30 and then coming up the following wednesday night the 24th dr aaron taylor now you guys know who dr aaron taylor is you guys with the oak island fans archaeologist he wasn't on the island last season, but he was on the season before. Worked in the in the uh, swamp most of the time, uh, and and that. So I, he had. Uh, we've had him on a couple of times. Great guy. He's got a lot of stuff going on on the side. We're going to have him on. That's August twenty fourth. We're going to do that one at six thirty, at six thirty because of time for him. So we're going to come on an hour early. That one will be August twenty fourth. Aaron Taylor at six thirty, and those times are all Eastern Standard Time. All right. And then the 27th on Saturday, Corian Mall and Christopher Morford coming on. CNC are coming back on the show, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Them two guys, I mean, both of them are really busy these days, got a lot happening. You've seen uh, Corian was over in Portugal and with the guys and taking them around. It was a lot of fun. Uh, great stuff. Uh, so we're going to have Corian and Christopher going to be on talking about some of their new research and things that they've got going on. That's exciting. So that's going to be Saturday, 27th, August 27th at two o'clock in the afternoon, 2 p.m. in the afternoon for Corian and Christopher. CNC coming on. And then after that, I'm heading for Utah, going to Utah, going to Skinwalker Ranch area, going out there. We're going to be going to the Phenomicon the Phenomicon is going to be going on. That is September 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. That's a Thursday through Sunday. Um, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be taking lots of pictures and video and talking to fans and talking to not only fans of, uh, you know, there's Blind Frog Ranch going on out there. There is the Secret of Skinwalker Ranch going on out there. There is um, also the, I think, the um, Hunting uh, Bigfoot uh, folks are going to be out there. Uh, it's going to be cool. I can't wait. I really, I'm looking forward to it. Got my press pass. I'm going. You guys, if you get a chance, it's in Vernal, Utah, September 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, Thursday through Sunday. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope to meet you guys there. Anybody, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. You, you see my face. Try to find me. I'd love to meet you all there in person. Um, and uh, it would be great. So yeah, Curtis, yeah, absolutely. Shannon is wonderful. She truly is. So anyway, so that's what's happening. So as soon as I'm done with on that Saturday with Corinne and Christopher, I'm heading out. I'm going. Uh, got a got a ways to go to get out there. But we got some great stuff coming up, and I'm really really excited about the folks we have. There will be more uh, happening over the course of the uh, next month and a half as we roll into getting ready for um, what is happening with um, Skinwalker Ranch and the start of. 
the Curse of Oak Island in November. So we got we got a little bit of time, and uh, we'll give you as much information as we can going forward on all of that for sure. Um, I tell you, I this this uh, skin I can't talk about Skinwalker Ranch enough right now. They are filming right now. I think I'm allowed to say that, right? That's pretty well known. Uh, but they are filming right now, and there's filming season three. And so, yeah, is it three, four, season four? Um, yeah, season four. So, uh, but those guys, they got, they are so busy and yet they take the time to come in and do the Q and A's. The Q and A's are like at least once a week, sometimes more. They did the Murphy challenge the other day. We got to watch that. If you don't, I'm not even going to tell you what that is. You need to come and check it out, do the trial and see if you like, (laughs) come out to Skinwalker Ranch and be an insider on the trial basis or whatever. See if you like it. And, uh, and like I said, the link is down below. Click, click on that. But uh, it's really cool, and uh, the guys are on there all the time, and they're in the chat when we're watching the screens. The the the, the fans have, uh, the members, the insiders have found quite a bit of stuff. Um, and we asked them today, one of the questions we asked was, are you going to be able to use that stuff that we've spotted? So there's talks. There's talks. It's really cool. It really is. It's, it's a lot of fun. Richard Cornwell. Yeah, we're going to get you on. You got to come on the show too. So I, I've sent you, I asked you to email me. It's uh, <laughs> jfree906 at gmail.com. So send me an email because I want to talk to you, sir. Uh, Wade, how you doing, Wade? Glad to see you. Uh, Darlene. Yeah, so Kate's here. Hi, Kate. Kate's an insider. Kate is an insider. We're, her and I talk it up all the time. We're, we're, we're in the, watching the, uh, the stuff together. Um, so yeah, so she's there all the time. It's it's a lot of fun. It truly is, and we're building quite the community in there now. Uh, and it's so friendly. Everybody's so friendly. And where else can you go and talk about the things that you're interested in? Can you tell your spouse? Well, if your spouse is not into Skinwalker Ranch or UFOs, UAPs, and just weird stuff going on, then who do you got to talk to? You know, the people at work or whatever. You come here and you talk about it here. It's awesome. Everybody is like-minded. We're always sharing ideas. And and they are listening. They listen to us. They actually take our suggestions and work with them. And they 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 look at the ideas. There's so many people that are in this right now that have knowledge about things that can benefit the ongoing research at Skinwalker Ranch. And they are interested in that stuff. That's what's one of the, one of the things that's so cool about this. Um, it truly is. And, uh, I keep looking over here cause I'm looking at the chat what's going by. Cause they're right now we just have the one screen and it'll switch back over uh, this evening to four again. And we get to watch the inside of like a uh, homestead two and stuff, really weird stuff happening there. Anyway. So, uh, that's what, that's what's going on there. Um, let's see. I, I like I said, folks, I didn't want to come on and take up a whole lot of your evening. I know we usually come on on seven 30 on Wednesdays. Um, but, um, I did want to talk a few minutes about some of the things I didn't have a regular show planned. Um, I'm actually got a lot going on right now, trying to get everything, uh, set up for, um, my, uh, transport out to Utah. I'm really looking forward to that trip. I've been talking a little bit with, um, our friend, uh, Chris, uh, uh, Christian Roper, uh, he's been out, he was out at the ranch next to uh, Skinwalker Ranch and he did some research out there. They've got a documentary they're working on about all they heard and saw. And they just talked to a lot of people, did a lot of interviews. It's going to be good stuff. Christian Roper, uh, that's going to be fantastic to see what he's done. They were out doing a documentary and, and it, it's, I can't wait, can't wait to see what he has. Really, really cool stuff. So we're going to have him back on the show as well. Uh, coming up here in the future. Man, there's so much chat going by. I'm missing it here. Um, let's see. I want to just kind of refer to a couple people. Um, Jan. Jan's out there. Hi, Jan. How you doing? Tom Burns. Good to see you. Cyberweez. <laughs> Jim Barlow. Hey, how you doing? Donnie Wood. Glad to see you. I'm glad you guys stopped by here tonight. Uh, like I said, talking up a little bit about Skinwalker Ranch. I can't, I'm so looking forward to this next season really am you know the guys uh that area that is in on the side of the mesa in the hill there with all the um debris that looks like it collapsed upon down upon itself and just fell into that hole um i can't wait to see I, they got to dig into that and they said at the end of the season last season here just a month ago they talked about the fact that they were going to be very surgical and careful about 
getting in there to see what's underneath. They hit metal. They hit metal quite a bit. The metal chunks came out. And we only saw a very small portion of the metal chunks that come out of there. And the makeup of those metal chunks, you saw it on the episode, really uh, interesting. But uh, um, it, it's it's fascinating. And I want to see what they do. And they take that apart and dig into that uh, in season in the next season here. So I'm really, yeah, I know. Is it a buried, uh, buried UFO? I, I don't know. I, I don't know about all that. But, but I tell you, there, there's something down there. And there was a cave. Oh, that reminds me. Um, Chris. Oh, help me here. Chris Bartell. Um, he's going to be on the show. He was on Skinwalker Ranch. He was one of the guys that worked for um, or worked with the team that was there for Bigelow um, Aerospace when Bigelow had owned it. Right. And so um, he was part of that team and he was I think he was security and he knows that there was some sort of a cave or something over there that appears to be gone now covered up. Christopher Bartell. Thank you, Linda. Um, and so, yeah. So he's coming on. We're, we're still, he's very busy. He said August. So uh, that one's still yet, or I think, uh, toward the end of August. So we're going to get him scheduled. We're going to have him on because I want to hear what he has to say, not only about Skinwalker Ranch, but many of the other things he does. Interesting guy. He's always busy doing something related to UFOs, UAPs, and just the paranormal weird stuff, you know, like what we'd like to talk about. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, I see there's the buffer. She's over there now. I see in the chat now. So anyway, a lot of good and fun things coming up, folks. I really, I tell you, I'm, I'm really excited that this is going to be a fun, fun season. I can't wait to get out to Phenomicon. Um, yeah. Chris Bartell has a zillion amazing photos. He really does. Um, Jim, Jim. Yeah. Deep underground base. <laughs> Wouldn't that be would not be something, you know, the thing is, you know, and it, it appears, and I'm, I'm going to talk about this real quick, is that it seemed like that whole uh, side of the Mesa had been imploded. Um, when that guy was out there and he looked at it, remember how he said that if it had been some kind of a collapse, you would have had runoff from underneath that. The soft material would have been uh, washed out. There would have been some sort of a wash there in front of the large boulders that were piled. But yet instead of that, there was like a hole or a depression where it all fell in. So did it fill up a cave or a system of caves? Did it, and it seems to that be that, uh, that be the case simply because of the smoke. Remember the smoke getting sucked in there. So it, there's some open space in there. There has to be, there has to be. Um, and they were hearing the drill when the drill was going underneath and it was under the ground and yet they could hear it coming up, the sound coming up through those boulders. Um, there's, there's, a, there's spaces down there. So how do you get in there? How, how do you open that up carefully so that you can see what's under? Do you pick one boulder out at a time with some sort of a crane? I mean, I don't know. It's a monumental task, but they have to see what's down there just have to i mean that's that's very very interesting so um yeah we'll, we'll get to see what's going on hopefully in the next season but anyway had to talk about that real quick i wanted to give you an update about what we kind of can talk about for the curse of oak island um and then of course uh, skinwalker ranch oh and we have i, did, I forgot to mention this uh, you know my co-host um john edwards I would be a mess if I didn't bring up John real quick. John is uh, on location. We've got some interesting stuff coming up with John. John is doing some uh, filming right now. Uh, and when he gets back, we are going to be talking about, do you guys remember uh, Lori Wicken, Wickens? Lori Wickens is the gentleman who witnessed the uh, Shag Harbor UFO incident. That happened in, oh my gosh, I forgot my dates now, 1950, I forget, uh, but it, it, it was a UFO witnessed by lots of people, a UFO that appeared to have gone down and crashed into Shag Harbor. The people actually followed this thing for a while. They ended up going down into Shag Harbor, saw it hovering over the water, out in the harbor, and then disappeared. Did it go in the water? Or, okay, so John's out you know, working right now with him. And do you remember when we had the nudie girls on Shag Harbor and the nudie? Yeah. So <laughs> the nudie girls named after a fish, there's actually a fish or a sea 
type of a sea creature that's called a nudie girl. And you can go look it up. And anyway, that's what they call their dive team, their dive group. They have a group and it's a, it's a, it's, I believe it's all women and they, uh, they have trainers in there and, and all that. And they dive on different stuff. They have an amazing discovery to talk to us about that he is capturing. Yeah. Shag Harbor, Nova Scotia, uh, 1969. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate that. Yeah, that, that was when the UFO went down. And <laughs> yeah, he's in the middle of it. So we're it's going to be exciting. I, I can't wait to, to see what he has in store for us, amongst other videos that um, he will be able to share uh, as he is on location. So uh, great stuff coming up, folks. Man, it's going to be an awesome summer going into fall this year. I cannot wait for some of the new stuff coming out. Um, yeah, I do too, Kate. I love the nudie girls. They were amazing. I had them on. We had them on the show with Laurie Wicken. That video is also on YouTube. You can check it out anytime you want. Uh, it was great. They talked to us about how they dove one time already on the Shag Harbor UFO incident site, um, and they want to go back. And I don't know that I haven't had an update on that yet. They certain permissions and stuff that have to be done. So, um, but they are going to go back and check that out one more time. So anyway, yeah, John is having a lot of fun right now. But yeah. He reports in like every day, Jeff, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> so he says every time you're not going to believe it. And he always has something great to talk about. So anyway, all right. That's what we got sore for you folks coming up in the course of the next several weeks and months coming up. I'm really looking forward to it. Don't forget the next show, Gretchen Cornwall, next Wednesday, 730. Uh, Templars got lots of kids. She's got a book out, a new book. I mean, I can't wait to have Gretchen on. Wonderful lady. And then on the uh, 18th, Shannon DeSalvo and um, Mike Owen and uh, the buff artist. <laughs> coming on with me the insiders we're going to do insiders insights and we're going to be talking it up that's next uh thursday the 18th at 7 30 folks we'll see you here again thanks for popping in with me here tonight really appreciate you guys very much ao as always richard cornwall uh cornwall is a name that's uh very prominent up here in the up of michigan you wouldn't happen to have anything to do with being a youper or, or have relatives that were a youper do you richard Hmm. I'm a Uber. I mean, you know, Jim Barlow. Thanks for coming by Wade. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you very much. Darlene. Yep. Always being there. Oh, I didn't see this name. Maria. Hi, uh, Maria. Glad you're here with us. Appreciate you very much. Stephanie is here. Wow. A lot of good, good folks. I appreciate you guys so very much popping in and cyber all you guys. Thank you so much for coming by. Um, AG I'm a Uber. All right. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, that's where I am right now. I happen to be in the UP. And at this moment, I look out my window here straight in front of me and I am looking at Lake Superior. So that's where I am. Well, whereabouts in the UP? Eastern. But I'm looking out at Lake Superior right there. And out this way. I wish I could turn the camera around so you could see it. It's awesome. The sun pi finally popped out and it's, it's going down, but it's beautiful. Um, Oh, no. Oh, did I say next week? I'm sorry. No, two weeks. Two weeks. I'm sorry. Two weeks. The 17th and the 18th. 17th is the next show, unless I decide to pop in like this and, and do a quick show and talk about some stuff with everybody and, and show you uh, briefly. Uh, uh, here, <laughs> this, is, this is Skinwalker Ranch uh, Insider, uh, what we get to do. And we're, uh, we're looking out across the Mesa right now. That's what they're showing us at the moment. Here's all the people over here chatting it up. There's Mike. Mike is in there. And um, yeah, so a lot of, lot of cool people in there talking it up right now um, and watching. And we get to hear, well, I think the sound is off right now. Generally, the sound is on and you can hear what's going on over there. Um, cows, coyotes. I mean, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. It's really cool, folks. It really, truly is a lot of fun. I uh, love it. And again, if you're interested, you can click the link below in the description. And again, Linda put it up also in the chat. You can click it there. It takes you out. You can do a trial membership, see if you like it and all that kind of stuff. And uh, once you get there, you're going to be hooked because it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, raccoons. I know the raccoons. We get to watch the raccoons. That's pretty cool in the middle of the night. And there's, there's like different shifts. People that are like overseas on a different time schedule uh, than us, you know, they do the, like the night shift 
And uh, then we do the day shift when we come out and watching the sunrise come up on the Mesa and the different pictures. It's really cool watching the sun coming up. And um, yeah, Richard says the sound is off right now. Yeah. It went off after they had the, um, uh, when they had the uh, Q&A today. They did a Q&A for about an hour and a half today. Travis was there and 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 uh, Eric, of course, and Thomas and Bryant, Dragon, and um, um, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss for a name. The other, um, gosh darn it. <laughs> I'll think of it in a second. Caleb, Caleb was there. So all of them were sitting around eating chips and salsa and talking and telling us about what's going on as much as they can. Um, but talking about quite a bit of stuff and interacting, answering questions as many as they can. We try not to ask them about what are you guys working on right now? They can't talk about that, right? They got NDAs. So if it's been aired or publicized, they can discuss it. Otherwise, just like Oak Island guys, they cannot talk about it. Um, uh, yes, they did record it. Well, they record, um, all of them. I haven't seen one they haven't recorded. So it'll be up on the insider, uh, in the insider section. Um, when you log in, it, it usually takes them a little while to post it. Um, but it'll be in there. Um, that was Jan. Um, so you'll see it coming on at some point. And, uh, they're also going to highlight, I guess they're going to be highlighting some of, of, uh, I don't know if they're going to put it all up or be hi highlighting some of the parts that I had on the show last week with Shannon uh, DeSalvo. They're going to put pieces of that up there as well, I've been told. Um, so that's going to, that's really cool, right? I mean, but Shannon's awesome. I mean, it's not about me. It's about her. And <laughs> anyway, so that was really cool. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it, it just is, it's such a cool community and it's growing, um, it's growing really well. So really having a lot of fun with that. Um, you know, I mentioned it twice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, folks, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks you guys so much for coming by. Unless there's something in particular you want to talk about. Um, I do have the chat running and I'm trying to uh, keep up with it here, but, um, yeah, so they did record the chat and they will put it on. Um, yeah. It's it, it's always fun to go back and watch because you catch you know things that you miss too and there's the chat just flies by and they try to they do their very but like I do they do their very best to try to uh, catch it all as it's streaming by so quickly everybody throwing questions out um, you're gonna might have to come up with a better way to do that maybe have people submit the questions ahead of time um, Shannon uh, on on your uh, the SS on the spreadsheet so. Um, so they can uh, you just answer them that way because it's just going by so fast from everybody, me and everybody else. You know, we're typing, oh, well, what about this? What about that? And they miss most of them, but they do their best. They really do. Great bunch of guys. Can't wait to see what's coming out um, on all of that. And um, yeah, so if you like to listen to coyotes at night, you know, or cows, you, know, you can hear the cows mooing sometimes and things like that. Uh, <laughs> Pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, we have a great time. A lot of, a lot of interesting things happening out there. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this season and uh, see what those guys are going to be doing out there also with the Curse of Oak Island. Looking forward to that. All right. I'm out of here, folks. Thank you guys so much for coming by here tonight. Appreciate you all so very much. If you like the content that we put out on the channel here, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It does help the algorithm within YouTube. That's the way these things work. The more likes you get and subscribers and all of that, the more they put this out. And if you liked it, then let's share it with everybody, right? If you didn't like it, then I understand. You're not going to share it, okay? But if you like the content of the shows that we do here, and you're looking forward to seeing Shannon on the 18th and Gretchen Cornwell on the 17th, you need to click and like and subscribe. If you click that notification bell, you get the little ding to let you know when I go live. You can come and join me and my guest at that time, or you can always watch it later because all of them are there. Thank you guys so very much. And if you want to help support the show, have our Patreon channel. It's patreon.com. And of course, it's jfree906 there as well. Um, thank you very much. See you guys later on the 17th, right? Bye.